today's might just be the Harry show. <laughs> and uh, and every now and then I might go, mm-hmm. <laughs> and that's it. Holly. <laughs> no. It's so hot. I'm not functioning. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm like an overheated bloody laptop that's gone, no thanks. I've been okay up until today. You know when your PlayStation used to overheat and you'd have to turn it... That's me <laughs> right now. I'm, you'd have to take the game card out, the little memory card Blow thing. it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember on a Game Boy, you'd take the cartridge and... <laughs> That's me at the minute, but I'm going, but it's my fringe in if my I face. Blow on you. No, I do it to myself and go. <laughs> <laughs> or if I'm really hot. <laughs> exactly. Get it around the face with my hand. Exactly like that. Hey, hi, and hello. Welcome to Hold My Beer. Why are you laughing at me? That sounded so defeated. (laughs) I could just hear the, hi, (laughs) hey. Hey, hi. (laughs) Right, let me me do my peppy one. I can't, not today, I just can't. Holly, who are you? I'm Holly. Hi, I'm Harry. Holly, who are you? (laughs) We had a moment this morning where we both thought to text each other at the same time. We did. Because I, I went on to text you and I saw you were typing. I was like, what? I've not written anything yet. I know, you beat me to it. And I was like, and then... Um, As I'm standing in the middle of Sainsbury's. And then we both went, oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Which I love. Um, what I love is we've just started texting each other. I need an opinion. <laughs> what, was my, what was it last night? Um, I messaged you something. What was mine? Oh. I can't even remember. We are. The thing is, I don't think you enjoy my opinions. <laughs> no, I enjoyed it. I was just presenting at the time, so I didn't. I couldn't fully immerse myself. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just saying something about the Aristocats. <laughs> <laughs> the Aristocats. Oh, uh, yeah. My opinion was about a post that I'd put on for work. Oh, yeah, that I then cheerleaded on LinkedIn. Uh, so we're recording this on Armed Forces Day, so show Happy up Armed to... Happy Armed Forces. We oh, stand in solidarity. Wow, big word. Just... I've used that twice today. Mm-mm. Oh, yeah, you asked me an opinion on somebody that you said yes to. <gasps> Have you chatted? No, ghosted. You've been ghosted. Did yeah. you unmatch? Yeah. No! Yeah. What a dick. Oh, did he unmatch, did you say? Yeah. No, I think he's still there. He's just not replied. Have you said hello? Yeah. Oh, we might not go on a lot. Holly, it was 24 hours ago. I wish they did, like, a last active. (laughs) I wish they didn't. Why? Because I'm normally the one to ghost. (laughs) I would put a little ghost emoji and go, Hey, Phantom Menace, where are you at? (laughs) Do you remember the flying ghost thing from the Scooby-Doo movie? Yes. Here I come! I would would start singing, There's something strange in the neighbourhood. (laughs) And then he can't go, Who are you going to call? No, because he'd probably take that as me being sarcastic. Good. (laughs) Fucking hell, let it. I th- honestly, I think that I if somebody that. <laughs> has the nerve to ghost, that you should proper take the piss. I think it's it's a okay. done. It, it should be. You should call them out on bullshit and just be like, "Have some common decency, young man." But I also do it. It's fine. Then expect somebody to be like, "There's something strange." No, because I am match first. In the mood. <laughs> 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 you can't side say same and expect me to not say something. I, yeah, well, yeah. So I would um, ghost block and deny. So, yeah, short story is I'm still single. I love that our gifts have become share and the Aristocats. Nothing more, nothing less. Patricia. <laughs> so we talked about no. that. No. <laughs> so <laughs> you can because it, do you want me to say it? Do you want me to just you tell it? it because I can't really remember. Right. So 
we were obviously a couple of episodes back if you have if you continue to listen and you've got through them um harry does an incredible incredible impression of Cher. tell me a new lie <laughs> I could take the skies falling. From everyone, but not you. That is what I mean. So, <laughs> I have a snippet of that from where you sent me it, because you were just laughing about it when you were editing. And um, so, <laughs> I, for some reason, we quote Cher a lot <laughs> from yeah, from Burlesque, back and forth to each other, just for fun. Um, and it got to a point where we was like... Um, <laughs> It's like you're you've got a split personality, <laughs> and you said I said oh oh hello Patricia and did the from gif like Patricia from the movie the, the, Split from the movie Split which has got James McAvoy in it yeah and if you've seen Split you'll understand Patricia it wasn't me it was Patricia um, <laughs> Harry comes Such back with the best and funniest line. One word. I think that sent you for the rest of the day. It, I, it's, I'm going to grab on and milk this for the next <laughs> year, right? So Harry turns around and goes, Patricia. So he spelt it, Patricia. And I died. I, honestly, <laughs> I, had, I was crying with laughter just from him literally saying that. So me being me... I take that. I had then sort of like <laughs> gotten on with my day. No, no, no. <laughs> I did not. I went to work. <laughs> no, no. Showed everyone my outfit, made I, people laugh five times. I took 20 minutes out of me, me <laughs> lunch break. <laughs> right, maybe 30 minutes out of my lunch break to superimpose Harry's face. No, to superimpose Cher's face on Patricia, the character from Split. And then proceeded to send it to harry post it on instagram and um pop on when you split Ch- when you split personalities patricia <laughs> it was hilarious it was absolutely hilarious and uh and now he's now got that as his contact <laughs> card in my phone he's named patricia of the funniest award 2023 <laughs> does that voice note come up when i ring you I need you to do it and I'll I'll make oh, it into okay. a into a voice note that you okay. can do. I need you to record it and send me it as a MP4. You wanna uh, show me something? Show me that. And it'll be a phone call. What though. I loved is that the picture that you edited of Cher onto Patricia looked like Trixie Mattel, the drag queen. <laughs> From the drag queen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um so yeah, Patricia. Patricia. <laughs> And uh, every time that I ask, because what Harry used to be was company captain. Well, it's actually co- I'm still company. Captain. It's it's co captain, but okay. I, I ended up calling it company captain because Siri yeah. didn't understand co. So when I went call co call co captain, Siri would come back and go calling company captain, <laughs> and I'd be like, right, okay. And now it goes calling Patricia, <laughs> and I'm like, yes, Siri, <laughs> yes, best thing ever. You're just Holly in my phone. I used to be the best bitch at thirty eight. Oh no, or something. that's still in there. That's in the that's in the that's subline. The subline. That was from like five years. So it's five six years. I feel ago, like I need it? to look. Um, yeah. Oh, I rang you earlier, didn't I? Your your house number, new build, the coolest girl on the block. <laughs> <laughs> Which I feel like you put into my phone when we first met. I can't remember what what you were when we first met. I think it was my new best friend. <laughs> no, I know exactly what it was because I've got a screenshot. Oh God, what was it? My sperm donor. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and your mum pulling me to one side going, you know he's gay. <laughs> we were so pissed that night. Great anyway, name. Holly, how's your week been? Great because Patricia <laughs> over here. <laughs> yeah, it's been all right. Busy. I ended up working quite late one night um, just to get some bits done. Yeah. Um, and then last night, um, so this is a Friday night, went to my friends on an Indian and drank pina coladas. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. Drank a lot of pina coladas. Um, You're like quite two... sprightly today, I will I say. I was up at half five. Fucking hell. I, well, I, I don't think she listens, but her, her spare bedroom's bed is like a pull-out futon thing. <gasps> but I, it was like I was sitting, uh, sleeping on wooden oh, blocks. No. So I got up at half five and went down to the sofa. Question. Where's nice over? 
Whose spare bed do you prefer, mine or hers? Well, yours is not. That's not fair. <laughs> is it because mine's an actual bed? Yeah. <laughs> well, no, the futon's all right. It's all right if you're not going to be on there every night. Um, but no, I, I wouldn't go on it again. <laughs> I'd so, be like, I'll just sleep so on that sofa. I have the su- superior guest room. Yeah, of course you do. <laughs> but you also have a nice sofa as well, so I'd probably sleep on that. I've slept on that sofa many a night. <laughs> Oh, and your one, yeah. <laughs> my one you get lost in. Um, yeah, and then this morning went and got all my gardening tools ready to cr- dig in a flower bed. I turned up today. <laughs> walked around the back of Polly's house. And you're there in short shorts, your bra. <laughs> yep. Digging up your garden. Yeah. I'd, I'd been ed- I was edging then. Were you? I was edging it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Was... On a Saturday morning, Holly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good for you. Um, <laughs> so I was putting an edge in, and um, we've decided that I'm just going to put wild fl- wildflower <laughs> seeds in, haven't we? Now, that's it, and I'm fine with that. I feel like only I'm going to because... disturb the top of it. Yeah, I just I'm feel like gonna... it's the easiest thing for you to do at this point. Yeah, I'm probably going to put that stuff that I've dug out already back in. Like, my rose bush is now full of roses. It looks lovely. But in a couple of days, I'm going to have to go and deadhead the fucking lot of it. Yeah. And it is maintenance, and the lavender, that all needs cutting back at the end of the season. I wouldn't mind putting a couple of lavender in, but I'm pretty sure that the lavender would be in with... Is that a wild one? No. No. Have you ever been to the lavender field at... Um... Yeah, of course I have. <laughs> no. Of course I have it. I don't go anywhere around here. Where is it? That way. Uh, um, it's at Sandringham. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, future Harry. <laughs> With that big old gulp. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, yeah, Sandringham. Okay. I'll, um, I won't go, but I'll pretend <laughs> that I'm going <laughs> to. Do you get to pick out lavender from it? Or is Ew. it just free? What? What is it? Is it so? What? It's a lavender field <laughs> for sale. Like, is it like a garden centre? I think there is a garden centre there. So you could get lavender. You could do, and you can walk the lavender fields and smell the great smells. I might try and trim my bush and my lavender bush. Will you? <laughs> Does it need a trim? It's like indu- <gasps> innuendo. Really needs a trim. <laughs> it's like innuendo. Mine bingo. is thicker than like elsewhere on me. Oh, your lavender bush. Me bush bush. <laughs> Me bush bush. We haven't spoken about Bullgate, have we? And we won't be. So, um... <laughs> really? Holly saw a, 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 an appendage <laughs> on me, completely by accident. Um, and I've not let it go yet, and he's really embarrassed. <laughs> I'm not particularly embarrassed, because I don't actually care, but... Then. I just think it's brilliant. How was your bruise? Gone. Don't really know. I can't see anyway. It was gone a week ago. Oh yeah, it has been like three weeks, hasn't it? Mm. That bruise was it was that big. Hmm. That is big. It's huge. It's kind of impressive. What was more hilarious is that I thought I was gonna have to go to a clinic because I didn't think it was a bruise at first. But where would you mainly have because like that? when it first came out it was red mm. that's why I was like oh my god <laughs> and then it went black and I was like oh it's a breeze <laughs> oh <laughs> I'm just bleeding internally <laughs> I don't have a venereal disease this week oh god <laughs> <laughs> this week Harry. so what have I been up to yeah totally. nothing um this week we are talking about how the fact that it is so hot in this country we are so unprepared for it as a nation, and, uh, and no one seems to be willing to do anything about it. I I me. know that we have listeners from around the world, so I yeah. just want to get one thing yeah. for people to understand. If you've never been to in England or in Britain for a British summer, where it's really hot, it's a different kind of heat. Yeah. It's a different kind of heat to being on holiday. It's a different kind of heat to being in Australia. It, it's yeah. different. It's not... I mean, it's like 30 <sighs> degrees Celsius, day 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, but you don't get... 
I don't know how to describe it. it it's just, just, it's humid. Yeah. It's muggy. Not always muggy, sometimes. Today's muggy. Yeah. And I think that's what's doing me in. And we, it, I want a dry And heat. we're used to rain. We're not... We're but not. the thing is, I love the hot weather. I actually love this. If we had the infrastructure inside, mm. like, you and I live in new houses. <gasps> so insulated. So insulated. And they're insulated for the winter months. What about the summer months? Global warming, babe. My house gives off so much heat. If I, if I could have something that, when I generate heat in my house, that it stores it, mm. and I use that in the, in the winter, yeah, I wouldn't fucking have a bill. I wouldn't have a bill. Honestly, if I converted the energy from the heat that is in my house in from summer months through yeah. to like end of September, I wouldn't have a bill all through. I end up having my doors and windows open. All through the night, just so it's cool in the morning. I could power this fucking street with it, honestly. Well, I mean, I... Someone would... smarter than us needs to figure that out. I think it's already a thing. That's solar panels, isn't it? No, the, no geothermic electricity. Well, I'm going to suggest that to Matt. I don't know why our new houses don't have solar panels. Yeah, why isn't it built in automatically? Yeah. Mine would... I'd be, You'd get loads. I'd get I'm, money back. I'd get morning and evening. You'd get all day. I'd get money back. Yeah. I really would. Shocking. I know. Like, uh, now, I am probably going to upset s- several groups here. Oh. Because... How? <laughs> I love an air conditioner. Why are you upsetting people? Because it's so bad. Do you know how much my bill is going to be for my electric? No. I'm using twice as much electric currently than I do in the winter. Because your air con. Yeah. Because my air conditioning is running. Not all day. I don't actually run it during the day. I run it from about 7pm to like 2am. It's a long time though. It's a long it time. Running. It's what, six hours? Yeah. But it's just so that I can sleep. Otherwise I'm not going to sleep. And I will be crabby and shitty. And no one wants that or no, needs that. Nobody needs that. <laughs> I'm crabby and shitty enough as it is. I'm just going to stay quiet. <laughs> He's lovely. We all know that's a lie. Mm. Um, Not a lie. So I keep swallowing really loudly. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's just no escape from this fucking heat. However, 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 mm. there's been a solution at work. Also, found out who it was that was turning the air conditioning up on all the panels to like 30 degrees. Who? Why? She's got more body heat going round her at the minute. She's pregroonies. <laughs> The other day, heat 30. <gasps> in this weather? In this weather, in our office. And she doesn't need to be in the office. However, Mm-mm. that has now been put a stop to because our air conditioning is centrally controlled. No one can control it anymore. And it is cold. I don't mind it being cold. I, I don't want to work in this heat. No. I, would, I want to sit in a nice, cool room. <laughs> And freeze my tits off before I sit there and start sweating. Yeah. No one needs to see me sitting at my desk like a pile of melted ice cream. No. I don't want people to see me sweat. No. This is why I don't like people seeing me at the gym. Because I want them to see me at my best. I don't want them to see me and go, hmm, he didn't look good. (laughs) Then again, my current state... Like, don't look at my face. I wouldn't look at it too closely. It's like the men in the morning. Like, don't look too closely. You look fine to me. You're not sitting close. <laughs> I've got my eyes closed. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, there's just no reprieve from this. Like, I get... Also, obviously, I've spent a bit of time in London recently. And I've come to the conclusion, it's not for me. I couldn't live there. I like, at the end of the day, to get in my car, whack my air conditioning down, and turn the fan all the way up. Yeah. I've been in your car when you've done that. <laughs> I remember being in New York in the summer. Yeah. Oh, and that hot. is a fucking horrible. Cause the, I don't want to be taking the subway. It's not even I, that. Uh, it's, it, you go for a walk down the street, and you've yeah. got all the heat from the yeah. grates, and then you've got all the, oh, the buildings, awesome. and the wind's not coming through, and it's like... Oh, that's hot, that's and that is hot. Yeah, when we when I was in London last week, 
it was it was about 28 30 degrees the underground no and we were there we were on the underground for about an hour and it was 40 something degrees that. and there's me and christian melting yeah. mainly because we got on the wrong train I remember <laughs> and took saying. a tour of every train station mm. Yeah, I am. Um, I'm not a fan of the heat at all. I'm, I don't cool do well in the heat. Girl, aren't you? Yeah, I prefer. I prefer a, a, a winter. What's the weather like? You know, back up north at the minute. Oh no, I'm down here. Ooh. <laughs> I'll ask me mum. All right, she'll be in the garden. My mum's a sun worshipper, she so she'll be a, the woman owned a sunbed shop. <laughs> <laughs> I used to work in it. No. <laughs> I was re-listening to an episode the other day and you were telling us tales about it. Um, what's the weather like up there? Tell her I said hi. Oh, I'm sorry, my screen, my keyboard's gone to Korean. Up there. <laughs> Harry says hi. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've got my mum's number, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, my mum's got a special ringtone on hers. <laughs> Love that. Ooh! <laughs> I'm dropping everything. That's like when you drop your phone on your face when you're in bed. I've done it so many times. Um, what else are we talking? We're talking about the British summer. We just had a bit, a little bit of a moan about it, haven't we? I actually really like it. Do you know what? When you, what you always see. And I'm I know I don't understand. That flip flop was fucking hilarious. What flip? I'm a cold weather person. I really like it at the minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a walking contradiction, all right? <laughs> Hang on. Or oh, was that your mum? Yeah. Hi Harry. It's hot but overcast. <laughs> She's like me. She doesn't do really long messages. She does Short message after message after message. That's me. <laughs> Two words done. Yeah. Two words done. Um so, I do like it to a certain extent when it's not too hot. I don't like it when it's hot, like, hot, hot, hot. I mean, it's um, still going to get hotter this year as well. But it makes me laugh at the minute. because, and, I, and this is things that you always see in a British summer. This is what you see. Go on. And I don't think it's normal <laughs> in other countries for people to just... Like men to just take their tops off and walk around with like the t-shirt tucked in the pocket. Right, and they've generally they've got <laughs> they've got a bag backy. They've got like a, a can of Stella. Stop they've, describing you know, they've chaps. Got an elf bar. <laughs> they've got like an England flat cap. <laughs> oh, oh, and the, <laughs> oh, let me let me let me stereotype some more. The t-shirt they were wearing is either round the waist or it's over the no no top. it's tucked in the pocket. <gasps> yes. <laughs> that it's tucked in the back pocket all the hats tucked in and the back pocket and they've got some shit sunglasses on i don't get people that wear their hats back to front but put sunglasses on how do you do that I, <laughs> do you i've done that i've done that <laughs> hang on i have a picture i can never get i can never understand because the whole point is that ho- because i don't look good in a hat so <laughs> if i can turn it it looks better turned round i can imagine this is going to look amazing i do uh, <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, here we go. You always manage to look trendy and stylish. Thank so. you. That is not a term that I would associate with myself. Is it blinking? No. Oh, good. Oh, I'm not wearing sunglasses there, but I have got a backwards cap. Oh, and you're indoors, so that doesn't count. I have got one. And you're exercising, hands. so if anything, that was working as a sweatband rather than a... Well, yeah, exactly. No, you look lovely. See? Trendy. Mm-hmm. Mm. Gym clothes. Trendy. <laughs> I like else? gym clothes. Oh, oh, you see some... No, I can't say that. Go on. No, I really can't. Say um... it, say it. I want to know what it is. Why is it? Am I doing it? <laughs> <laughs> what else do you see? It's the tea. It's the t- I don't think it's normal for people to take the tops off and walk around. No, I don't like, at all. I'm, I'm like... I'm not. I understand why people do it. It's always hot, and you don't want to... people. <laughs> they're never they're really nice. hot. They're never. Re- you you're never about to crash your car into a telegraph pole because you've seen someone with their top off. It's not you're the diet crash coke your car man. Into, it's never the diet coke man. <laughs> you are going to crash your car into that telegraph pole because you're thinking I've gone blind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
God. What else is there? There's um, there's probably things that women do as well. I can't think what it is. There was a there was a few. There's like trends that go around, isn't there? And there was gladiator sandals for a bit. Do you remember oh, that? You were not in ancient fucking Greece. Take them off. Yeah, I'm lucky my calves are too big to fit in anything <laughs> like that. So, oh, I look like you know when you've got a pork loin that you've wrapped. Yes. You've tied round. That's what it'd look like if I tried to put them on. <laughs> Slow cooked pork. That's what Do you want to know what I hate the most about this time of year? Is that my options for outfits is limited. You were just saying that that's your outfit. That's your go-to now, isn't it? Literally, short shorts and a t-shirt and some vans. And that is it. The fact I'm even wearing shorts right now is... Amazing, because normally I just wear a dress, yeah. a summer dress with nothing on. Yeah, you do. And I'd sit I on a fan. You, you were pregnant. <laughs> oh, fucking hell! I was pregnant. Never, ever, ever get pregnant during a summer, like towards the end of when you're gonna have your baby. It was a hot year as well. It was the. It was like the hottest year they said or something, didn't they? No, last year was the hottest year. Oh, well, they say it every year, was... don't they? Say it every year. Holly, it got to forty three degrees last year, one hundred and twenty one Fahrenheit. I'm not okay with that. That it's... was the same in Turkey. Oh, yeah. When I went to Turkey um, with Pan, that was there. Yeah. And all my days, I, was, uh, he took the piss out of me the whole time because I literally walked around and I was going... <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's too hot, I can't. Well, it was about that in Barbados, but there was a really cool breeze. I got really mad that the sun moved so that I had to move my shade. <laughs> I got so mad. <laughs> and you know when you're so hot, you're irrational. I know exactly what you mean. That's why I went and bought a new parasol this morning for the garden. I was like, I'm not happy about this. Every time, it was literally, it, it just it was so hot. And even in the shade, it was like 40 degrees. And yeah. I was like, I'm not, I'm not equipped for this. Like, I'm not thin enough to enjoy it. <laughs> I remember that last year. Oh. And I went, I decided not to go into the office because I thought, it'll be too hot. I'll stay at home, put the air conditioning on. And I was still too hot. I remember having yeah. to go to the kitchen where the air conditioning was not. And it was hell. My two back rooms don't get the sun at the minute because of the yeah. tree that's in the way that's being cut down and I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> Are they quite cool at the minute up there? Yeah, so yeah. my office is quite cool. And then the spare room, yeah. well, I'll say spare room, Molly's room's quite... Um, quite cool as well. Yeah. So, and I wouldn't take her room to put her in the horror room. <laughs> I'm not that mean. <laughs> Just so you can have a cool office. Uh, yeah, I'm not that horrible. So, um, but then in the winter, I'll probably move my office into my yeah. bedroom, so that it's warmer. I'll tell you what else you see in the summer: paddling pools. I've got a paddling pool. Everyone's got a fucking paddling pool. My neighbours at the back. They have bought, um, it's got a big logo on the side, was it? A Lazy Spa. Oh, I thought I was in last night. Oh, were you? Yeah. Hmm. Not, not good, no? I just think, I, again, you were in one last night. Why are you in a hot tub? Yeah, I like hot tubs in winter. <laughs> I don't like them at all. Yeah. Cesspools. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> Sorry. I, yeah, I do like them. I don't. I wouldn't. I don't like them enough to get my own. No, I don't see the point. Pay, like the five hundred quid for them. Yeah, it was more than that. Ooh. But then you've also got energy bill and water bill yeah. and the mon monitoring say, it to make sure that it's yeah. the right pH levels, everything else that goes with it. And I'm just like, no. Nah. I already have enough to think about in my life. I ain't got the patience for anything. I oh, <laughs> I do think I'm getting to a stage in life, and this is gonna sound awful. That I need, like, an assistant. <laughs> just like a lot, you know, just to take some of the life admin away. Life assistant. I don't like that. Um, Why? I'm just going to go with personal assistant. Life aid. <laughs> it's a different term for lifeguard. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, I'm trying yeah, to think what else you I just want to take, like, some of the admin away so I can concentrate on the day-to-day. -day. You know? Like bills. Oh. Oh. Fucking hate my bills. I'm not even gonna. No. 
I'm not even getting into that. That is a different moan. <laughs> that is. I'm not today. I can't. I need a bit of positivity today. I've got to go and tackle my my whatever I'm doing outside. I mean, I'm even here and go to lunch with my mother, so. <sighs> Who has finally decided to come home from holiday with my dad? Yeah, I'm a little bit jealous she went to Norway. Did she say she saw the Northern Lights? Uh, I'm going to ask because I forgot to ask last time. Yeah, ask her. I want to know. Um, I mean, the sun wasn't setting till like midnight. No, then. Probably not. I think they're like a four in the morning jobby, aren't they? Yeah. And I can't imagine your mum would get up at four in the morning. Um, bless her. We we were gonna play um, Harry's mum's bingo <laughs> when she was away. <laughs> Andrea bingo. Andrea bingo. I ba- told her about it. Yeah, she wasn't happy, was she? Basically, Andrea bingo is something you expect to her to to happen yeah. to her while she's doing something. Yeah. And I said she the first thing she's gonna lose the boat. Even though it's like the biggest thing. Even though it's for biggest, miles, they're gonna lose the boat somewhere. Yeah. Like, not enough to not get back on yeah. it, but enough to worry about getting there on time. Yeah. That was one of the bingos. And you said that to her, didn't you? Yeah. And what was her response? She looked up and went, oh, fuck right off. <laughs> Which means it happened. <laughs> so. So on to me. <laughs> When's your next holiday? France. France next month. We're all going. Okay. So I'm going to make some predictions about France. Can you write them down? How about you write them down? <laughs> we'll reconvene when we're back and we'll get my mum in to do <laughs> I need, family you, trip bingo. Sh- show me the area that you go into on a map and I'll... Uh, Bordeaux. Oh, okay. Oh, you're going at the same time as someone else, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. I'm not entertaining that. No. Um, <laughs> Anyway, um, I know we haven't spoken too much, but we hope that you've enjoyed catching up with us today. And um, also, I believe this year is just going to get hotter and hotter, so there will be plenty of chances for us to complain some more about the heat. <laughs> We're pure British and we will complain about the heat. And then There's when it rains... There's just no infrastructure for when it's hot. <laughs> There's because no... everywhere is just hot. There's no infrastructure for when it rains. People cannot drive <gasps> in the rain. No, they Snow, can't. Snow, when it snows too much... Everything shuts down. Everything. Like... It, my car. I've driven through three foot of snow in my car before. Absolutely fine. People need to get it together. Yeah. Oh, I went a different way home last night. <sighs> Take your life in your fucking hands. If I can... If I can undertake you on your inside on, like, a normal road, you're too far over. <laughs> you're too far into the other lane. <laughs> take your life and then you'd get to a bend and they'd be stopped on the other like side of the blind bend so i'd have to slam on my brakes and like scoot over are you okay <sighs> never going that way again <laughs> this was all be- <laughs> this was all it's because my mum got home um and she <laughs> she needed a new fan so she said because you're in town can you buy me a new fan so i said yeah of course i'll come drop it off five quid later um Oh, and it was just the way I had to go to her house. Um, for anyone that can hear that noise, it's Holly <laughs> um, brushing her hair. <laughs> but my hair's in a bubble, so it's not really working very well. <laughs> and I can't bother to take it out. <laughs> Sorry. Are we done? Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, well, see you Thanks later. Enjoy the summer. Do you want to do the outro? No. Never. I might just pre record the outro. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you ever so much for listening today. If you've enjoyed today's episode, please give us a five star on Spotify and a review on Apple Podcasts and tell your friends about us. And if you'd like to get more of us, you can absolutely do so by checking out the link tree in the show notes below. Shut up. And you can also find our email address there where you can send your problems and queries to and we'll get back to you with those. Problems and queries? Don't give us... Um, well, send us your problems. We'll laugh about them. And your queries. Yeah. Don't be mean, though. Be a bit mean. I don't care. I'm in the mood for a bit of abuse. <laughs> Goes on to Tinder. Can you tell it's been a while? <laughs> anyway, see you later. Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye.